All right, I'm on the phone with, what's your name again? My name is Mark Sasser. I'm a wildlife pilot with the Department of Conservation and Natural Resources Division of Wildlife Freshwater Fisheries. There is no regulation uh, in the state of Alabama that prevents an individual from keeping uh, non-protected species, which includes uh, copperheads, uh, moccasins, and uh, rattlesnakes. Those, those species are not protected in Alabama at this time. Carl snakes are a protected species, and they can't be possessed. Okay. Coral snakes. I will keep that in mind. Thank you so much, Mark Sasser. I appreciate everything. Yes, sir. You have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. All right, YouTube. That was Mark Sasser, Fish and Wildlife. I am so glad that he was able to verify that there is no regulation that you even have to have them behind a locked door. I have a two foot thick wall. This is two foot thick. Enclosed behind a lock and key that I only had to lock it. I only had the key to. I've said this once before, but there's no regulations whatsoever. This is Sarah, the mother of Mikey. Peace. In peace. She's still trying to keep a smile on her face through all of this. We have still not got our son back yet. Here's his baby chickens. Because I know he's watching my YouTube videos wherever he's at. And he'll get to see that his videos are good. And we love you, son, very much. We hope to see you soon. So, people, if y'all see this video, love you, baby. Mama loves you, baby. For all my viewers and all the viewers that this video gets shared with out there, um, please. If there's anything that y'all know that you can do or any anybody that you could share this to that would know, our child was taken from us on the basis that we had tarantulas, which are medically insignificant, and we had two copperheads. The DHR was ignorant of the law and wanted to say that it was going to get out of its cage and strangulate the kid, constrict its neck, and I tried to tell them to get a snake expert. I myself am a snake expert. But they uh, did not not want to do that. All they wanted to do was take the kid. And now they have the kid for 30 days. And this is his birthday. He was going to Chuck E. Cheese with us today. That's all they wanted to do. And now he don't get to. And uh, we got to get to the bottom of this. I appreciate all the support from everybody. And any help I can get in any way. Because I'm not just speaking for myself. And my family. And... Our son, I'm speaking for every family in America that has kids and animals or reptiles that have their rights violated and have their children stripped from them. Are them claws still on my back? Where are them claws? Can you see them? You see the claw marks? Are they? Right here. Up here. Right here, right there, all of it is Mikey scratching him. Yeah, all of that is my son that I'm going to adopt. I call him my son. He calls me daddy. He loves me. Um, that was the DHR ripping him out of my arms and him screaming bloody murder that he wanted to be with me and with his mother over my reptiles that I am within my legal rights to own. So anybody who sees this and wants to keep their rights, please share this video. We've been done wrong and it's not right. We love our son. I love animals. I love reptiles. I always will. But when it comes down to it, I had to make a choice. It was my reptiles and my tarantulas or my son what what do you do there was, there was no question the reptiles and tarantulas had to go now they're gone and our son is still not with us i don't understand it please like subscribe and share this video and thank you and peace love and happiness to all those out here that has not had their rights violated and their kids stripped from them and 
ordered to take their kids away from them. Peace. Please share. Everybody, please. I'm begging. A mother begging for a child. This whole situation makes me sick. I'm going to end it with that.